Today on In Your Face Anatomy, we take a look at the inside of the skull. Mmm, yummy. All right, so today we are looking at our features inside of the skull. So all of the bony features that we need to know inside of the skull. So we're going to start out by taking the cap off of our skull here. We can kind of set that to the side. We don't need that at the moment. Now I'm going to spin it around. There's the face. We're going to spin it around to where we can actually see these structures inside of the skull itself. So first thing we've got is foramen magnum. So foramen means whole. So that's a, a bit of terminology that you absolutely need to know. Foramen means whole. And magnum, of course, means big. So we're looking for the big hole. So this clearly here is the biggest hole. This is my foramen magnum. Next up, we've got foramen ovale. So for foramen ovale, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Um, we're looking for, again, a hole because it says foramen. Ovale just means it's a hole that's oval in shape. So we're looking for a hole here that is slightly more oval than the rest of them. And that's going to be this guy right here. So this is an important one. We're going to keep coming back to this one as our point of origin. So you absolutely have to know foramen ovale. So that's foramen ovale right there. Clearly, it's oval-shaped. Now, next up, we've got foramen lacerum. So foramen lacerum, we're going to start at foramen ovale, and then we're going to go one foramen medially. So here is foramen lacerum. Foramen magnum, foramen ovale, foramen lacerum. Next up, we've got foramen spinosum. So foramen spinosum is this little tiny hole right on the other side of foramen ovale. So right there, that is foramen spinosum. Little tiny one right next to it. And then we have foramen rotundum. So to get to foramen rotundum, if I start at foramen ovale again, and I go up, boom, there is foramen rotundum. It's a nice little hole here. Pop right there. Not this. We'll get to that later on. Not the big gash in the bone. It's this little hole in the bone just above, kind of above foramen lacerum and foramen ovale at the same time. This is foramen, foramen spinosum. So again, foramen ovale, the big hole. Oh, shit. Foramen magnum, the big hole. Foramen ovale, the oval-shaped hole. Foramen lacerum is next to it. Foramen spinosum is the little tiny one on the other side of it. And then foramen rotundum is up here. And we got the sella tersica. So the sella tersica means the Turkish saddle. And so that's this part here. It does actually kind of look like a little bit of a, a saddle here. This is sella tersica, the Turkish saddle. And that's actually where our pituitary gland sits. So we got these little extra bony parts sticking up to help protect that pituitary gland. All right, next up on our list, we've got our greater wing and our lesser wing of the sphenoid bone. So the lesser wing is the part here. It kind of looks like a bat wing or a pterodactyl wing on each side. This is my lesser wing of the sphenoid bone. The greater wing is all of this bone tissue kind of up underneath it. So all of this out here, this is the greater wing of my sphenoid bone, and it actually comes up and makes up the back of the eye is uh, our sphenoid bone as well. So lesser wing is on top of the greater wing. Then I've got my internal acoustic foramen. So my internal acoustic foramen, what that means is my inside ear hole is essentially what we mean by that. So on this ridge of bone here on each side, if I turn it just a little bit, I've got this foramen here and this is going to go all the way through pop out on the outside here this is my internal acoustic meatus so a meatus is a tunnel in uh, of bone where a foramen is a hole in the bone so then i've got my cribiform plate and my cristigalli so these are both part of the ethmoid bone so let's make note of that these are both part of the ethmoid bone and it's this part up here, this part that kind of looks like the deer footprint. I'll turn it over this way so, it's, so we can see that deer footprint a little bit better. So the, this is all part of my ethmoid bone. 
Now, the part that sticks up, it, it comes to a little ridge right in the middle here. This is my Krista Galley. This part right here. This is my Krista Galley. All of this on each side of it, this is my cribiform plate. So the Krista Galley kind of sits on top of my cribiform plate. So Krista Galley, cribiform plate. So those are the structures on the inside of the skull. One more time really quick. Um, oh, wait, I'm sorry. I, I skipped one. The jugular foramen. So the jugular foramen is on each side of foramen magnum, and it's this little peanut-shaped hole kind of underneath my internal acoustic meatus. So there's my internal acoustic meatus, my inside ear hole. Underneath that, there is the peanut-shaped hole. This is my jugular foramen. So I've got uh, foramen ovale. I've got foramen, <laughs> foramen magnum, foramen ovale, foramen uh, lacerum, foramen spinosum, uh, foramen rotundum, my crista galley is up here, my cribiform plate, my cella tersica, my lesser wing, my greater wing, my internal acoustic meatus, and back to my jugular foramen. And that is the inside of the skull. Good luck. <laughs>